bro, if she talks like this, anything hand related or, or neck related, bro, red flag, kill it and move or smash it and move. Have adult relations and move, okay? And man, I love topics like this because it's like, when you could say so little, <laughs> but it ruffles so much feathers, like you could say so little, but it means so much. I love shit like this. Cameron Newton, bro, you got one here, man. Let's get into this topic, bro. Top off the beer, smoke his ass, nigga, top love. Nigga, top, top, nigga, top off the beer, smoke his ass, nigga, top love. Now let's be facts. Hey, oh man. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, I had a little incident on the road, man. That's was that was Sunday. Today's Friday, so I ain't get to record in those days, man. But but uh, okay, just a quick little housekeeping, okay? I got my website done. All right. I got an advice column, okay? Like, I'm, I'm trying to do something like that. Like, I give advice consultations and shit like that. So, check the website, you know, check the link in the description, man. And, you know, support your boy, man. Trust me, I'll be giving my best foot. Like, my best foot is going to be forward with this shit, bro. Trust and believe. You won't regret it, man. Let's get into this context, though. Man, just like my intro said, I just want y'all to listen to this shit, okay? It was so short, so little, but it, it was so much, bro. I love it. Aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, mm -hmm. right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like, I'm a boss, like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby. Like, but you can't cook. Okay. You don't know, you don't know when to be quiet. You mm -hmm. don't know how to allow a man to leave. Man, those comments right there, bro. That video is 30 seconds. <laughs> that, that clip is 30 seconds, bro. But that shit, you know, that shit was reverend, bro. That shit waved throughout the whole of social media for a few days, bro. And rightfully so. For comments like this to be so uh, so strong, <laughs> for comments like this to be so strong, like I said, this shit is 30 seconds. But for comments like this to be so strong, that means we're at a point in time in society to where this shit is that relevant to people, to women. Let's get in, let's get more into this shit, man. Fan, I remember it might have been last year or the year before. Fantasia had an interview on the Breakfast Club talking about this same kind of thing. And it's coming from a woman now. But when women say that these same type of comments, though, they're labeled a pick me. They're labeled all of these other things. Now, when men say these comments, we're labeled these certain things too. But at the same time, it's it's real shit. Like what he said. And that 30 second clip, I'm not over that, bro. Like, it was just 30 second, but it, 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 it sent waves through social media, and I love it, like I said. But what he said in that 30 second clip is some real shit. Like, can you cook? <laughs> can you cater to a man? And listen to me now. Listen to me, because I already know he upset a lot of people with that shit. When he's saying, when he's asking, I should say, can you cook? And can you cater to a man? That is the basic things the basic things bro that is baseline bro that is the, the that is step one right there and hear me out though hear me out because this is this is important too because this type of shit is like as i'm getting older and shit the more i'm realizing like modern times and shit like that a lot of people had this shit confused okay so let me get into this shit for real catering to a man does not make you a fucking slave catering to a man does not make you a any type of derogatory term that women label other women a man is not gonna label a woman a slave if she's catering to him or if he, if a guy knows a girl that caters to her man uh, that guy's not gonna call her a slave or a pick me or all of that other crap then they're, they're not gonna label you that there's only women who deep down deep down they be doing the same shit a woman would deadass be catering to her man in private and calling another woman a pick me 
for for catering to her man. Knowing deep down she's catering to her man at home though. That city girl shit. You see, um, who is it? Might have been JT, I think. Uh, Lil Uzi's girl. Who's talking about, um, <laughs> that is funny as hell. She's a city girl in public. You know, the image. But deep down, like, when she go back home, she be all up on her man. That's funny to me, bro. But it's shit like that that's real, though. And a lot of people, I guess, don't want to accept that. Like, it, it is okay to cater to your partner. And women, it's okay to cater to your man. Because listen to me now. I, I said this before any traditional masculine man any traditional masculine individual man let me say that any traditional masculine man is gonna require his girl to cook and to clean and to take care of household duties like that video I did with band 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 man kivo make sure you go check that shit out uh, that video I did with that he's a traditional masculine man he goes out handles his responsibilities bringing in the cheese bringing in the bacon to provide you have to be that stay-at-home woman take care of the household duties that's it <laughs> that's the traditional shit that you have to do you have to be able to do that if you want that traditional man if you want that man that's that's gonna go out and provide and take care of what he's supposed to take care of you have to do your job it, it's simple as that and if you don't want to that's fine you're gonna get that feminine ass man who can't provide for you that feminine ass man who you know is gonna let you walk all over him that's the that's you're gonna be an option because i still remember like i said bring going back to what fantasia had said so much women was upset by that and i'm like what did she say that was wrong there's always gonna be women out there who's gonna cater to their man and be okay with doing that shit. that's why what cam newton said really what like what was bad about that like i don't see anything wrong with what he said if you see something wrong with what he said please let me know maybe it's his tone like you know you don't know when to be quiet notice i didn't even really address that but you know maybe that's wrong maybe but then again not even because i'm about to address that shit right now <laughs> i'm about to address that shit right now when a man saying you don't like when he say you don't know how to be quiet he's not telling you to shut up he's not telling you never to speak he's just telling you like when you nagging him like you know he just came home from 13 hours shift and he just <laughs> what are you doing that and he's getting annoyed just give him a give him a few minutes you know chris rock had a whole stand-up special about that shit it was funny as hell i just saw that shit as soon as your foot steps in the door she got <laughs> she's doing all of that it don't have to be like that ladies come on like if he's getting annoyed if he's Coming home from a 13 hour shift, nine times out of 10, he's mad tired, he's stressed out a little bit, he's annoyed or whatever, kids. You don't have to be nagging him like that. Like, you know, you know, you gotta know when to just just keep keep your cool, keep keep silence, keep quiet, you know, call your homegirl or something like that and, and and nag to her about it. But give him a little give him a little bit of time, okay? You know, give him a little bit of time. That's where I feel like uh you know that you don't know how to be quiet comments could have went instead of just you don't even know how to be quiet you know that could have come off a little bit as wrong but you know if you dive into it a little bit you know you gotta rationalize it you see what i'm saying seriously though these type of comments honestly 30 second clip i i personally see nothing wrong with it maybe the tone you know could rub some women the wrong way whatever but he's being real a lot trust and believe a lot of men think this way and the more we go on along with like the, the the red pill community the whole man manosphere they call it the whole community of men you know trying to level up and advising other men the more that starts to get to get popular the more other men is gonna outright be saying these type of things you know what i'm saying like i said what cam newton said was not wrong i don't see anything wrong in what he said like I said, if y'all see something wrong with what he said, please let me know. But I personally don't see anything wrong with what he said. And just a question, okay? If you disagree with what he said, right? Uh, if you're a woman and you disagree with what he said, I just want to know, right? If you feel like you don't have to cater to a man, does that man have to cater to you? And it's not necessarily going to be the same thing because a man catering to a woman is going to be providing. So if you don't feel like you have to cook and clean and do the, the, the household duties for, your, for that man, that's provided for you. Does that man have to still provide for you though? You're not catering for him. Does he have to cater to you? Real shit. Man, we made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe.
check out my website man you will not be disappointed man i really appreciate anything bro i really appreciate it man we taking this shit to the top <laughs> thank you and more videos coming soon ah! <laughs>